Making money is fun. Paying taxes sucks. Paying taxes is just about as much fun as getting a colonoscopy. Yep, that's a poop reference. That's how low I go. No one likes paying taxes and some people, well, just don't. I get it. It's more fun to have more money. But then it all catches up with you. The IRS finds you, takes your money, your house, your cars, your best butt, your jet skis, your bling, your fancy saltwater fish tank, and your dignity. All you're left with is a chihuahua named Stinky and a block of cheese. Well, they'll probably take that too. I actually think a lot of people don't pay their taxes, but only a few people get attention for it, namely celebrities. I'm Krista Mineo with The Pop Fix, and today we're counting down the pop five celebrities who suck at paying taxes. <laughs> Number five, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes starred in Blade and White Men Can't Jump, but could have also starred in Wesley Snipes Can't Pay Taxes. I feel like Tax Evader sounds like a version of an action star or superhero. Well, maybe not to the IRS. Wesley didn't file tax returns from 1999 to 2006. 38 million of income wasn't reported. He was convicted of three misdemeanor charges. Couldn't action star himself out of that one. Number four, Heidi Fleiss. Prostitution and tax evasion. It's kind of like peanut butter and jelly, or salmon and asparagus, loofah and smooth silky skin. The Hollywood madam was making bank. Who would have thought that rich people in Hollywood would want hot prostitutes? I wouldn't call her a madam, I'd call her an innovator or a problem solver. She was arrested in 1993 and convicted of federal tax evasion and served three years. Ooh. Number three, Nicolas Cage. I'll admit it, Nicolas Cage is one of my favorites. Gone in 60 Seconds is just, well, hot. Makes me want to make love in a Shelby. And Face Off was great! In 2009, the IRS came after him for six million in delinquent taxes. Nicolas Cage settled his debts and paid 14 million to the IRS. He lost a Bavarian castle and homes in New Orleans, California, and Vegas. I bet he was hoping he could switch faces with John Travolta when the IRS came knocking at his door. Where is Bavaria? Number two, Martha Stewart. What tax evasion list would be complete without the cupcake making, doily decorating, ankle bracelet wearing Martha Stewart? Martha decided that she didn't want to pay taxes on her home in New York City because she didn't spend a lot of time there. I mean, I get it. Just because I don't go to the gym ever doesn't mean I have to pay for my membership, right? I mean, the gym's not gonna find me. Kristen, the caller ID says gym. Well, looky there. Martha's $220,000 tax bill got a little crazier when she lied during a federal investigation about insider trading. She served 18 months in jail and rebuilt her brand and is richer than ever. Touche, Martha. Touche. And the number one celebrity who sucks at paying taxes, Joe Francis. How could I not mention the Girls Gone Wild creator and college girls future destroyer, Joe Francis? I don't think one man has determined the fate of more girls than this man. So many girls will now never be considered for CEO or political positions after the other positions that he got on video. I'm not even mad. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, it didn't stretch my hammies. Filming half-naked, blacked-out college girls in tax evasion. Like spaghetti and meatballs. Like Justin Bieber and hate mail. Like unicorns and fanny packs. What? Like Miley Cyrus and Vijay J grabbing leotards? The Girls Gone Wild borderline sex tapes brought in 40 million a year. What the what? In 2007, Joe got caught. He listed 20 million in deductions as business expenses, which included the construction of a new house in Mexico. He pled guilty in 2009. A bunch of college titties couldn't save him from this one. That's our list of pop five celebrities who suck at paying taxes from the pop fix. Is there a famous tax evader who didn't make our list? Leave a comment below and let us know. Subscribe to the pop fix for more videos. I'm Krista Mineo and until next time, what's your fix?